All right, so we go here to ride height calibration. And I think we hit run service procedure. So it's used to calibrate each four suspension height position sensors to the vehicle suspension position. Um, please make sure the following conditions are met. There are no suspension sensor fault DCC present. Park on level ground. The height sensor calibration routine should not be performed with the vehicle raised off the ground or immediately after lowering the vehicle as the suspension will not be in a neutral position. To neutralize the suspension, back the vehicle approximately 50 feet and back into the stall and continue. The vehicle must not contain any passengers or luggage. Please shut off the engine, but keep the ignition key in on position. Okay. So we just got to back the car up 50 feet. And then we'll bring it back in and we'll make sure we don't have any um, height sensor faults um, before we do this. I don't think we do. Alright, so we did what it says to do, back the car up and then park it on level ground. So let's go back to the service settings. So we want to find, it's in the vehicle dynamics module, or VDM. We want to hit ride height calibration. And then we hit run. And let's see. No passengers or luggage. So it looks like we got to get out of the car while it does this. All right, now it's going to ask what our fuel tank fill level is. Um, we're pretty close to full, so we'll click full. All right, now it's just doing its thing. Service procedure completed successfully. All right, that means we did it right. We did it good. All right, guys, and just like that, we have all new shock struts and accompanying hardware, and we got everything calibrated correctly. So if you like this video and it helped you out, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you like my other videos, go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more car repair tips and tricks, and have a good one, guys.